Let's get it off, shall we? Hi guys, why wouldn't you want to come to Thailand? Huh? Look at this. Awesome. Come visit. Hey guys, it's Friday, so that means head shave day, so let's get to it. I thought I was supposed to be retired. Anyway, just kidding though, guys. Just a normal shave. But it's Friday, and what Friday means is a smooth day. Smooth, baby. Good morning, guys. Today is the 6th of March. And let's just check out bits in the garden as normally. That's all we've been really doing, little bits and bobs. Went out for a ride with Mike, free rider Garnier. Um, amazing Thailand touring yesterday. Went up to um, Takwapa. I met him in Takwapa. He's ridden down from Bangkok. So yeah, so what are we doing? We've got the new uh, red parasol from Lazada, which actually fits. And we've got Lewis. Hiya. Lewis is down from Chiang Mai, looking for work, teaching English. So, yep, and that's what we've been doing really, just pretty much moving some pots around. What did we do? Lisa's been um, painting this chocolate brown from the gloss brown, them two there. We painted these steps white, but they're going to go back to um, pearl white, which is the same as the bungalow villa, whatever you want to call it. These are chocolate brown again and that. That's spare now. Yeah, pretty much. Not much happening there. Morning. Cab. Not much happening there at the moment. So, yeah, so there's not a massive... We've got a new light here. I'll show you that this evening. And, um, yeah, this has turned out, I think, more luck than judgment, really. I uh, weren't sure the size. I measured it, but um, it fitted, so that's really good. Nice colour, matches similar to there. But this base is all cracking up, so I'm going to get one of the big pots that's over there, put it there, get my angle grinder, cut that off, put it in there, and I'm going to fill it full of concrete, so that don't move. Right, guys, the plot thickens. So, we've got the new doodar in. So what I'm doing, we've just been and brought this, I've lifted it off the ground, and then I've cut with my angle grinder the actual big frame it was. So I'm going to put some reinforced concrete in the bottom of it put this in and I've cut these are the legs off of what I've cut off here and then I'm going to put them in like so about here and then that will um, reinforce it that will reinforce it hopefully so now I've got to be get mixing so the old faithful angle grinder done that cut it up safety wear Gotta wear it mate, gotta wear it. Get one of them in your eyes for your week, for your month. Good stuff. Guys, I'm still mixing, so what I've done, as I said, I cut off all the pieces, filled up now with concrete, well, it's yes, concrete, it's got type one sand, sorry, one cement, two sand, and it should be three type one, but I've just used bits off of what we've got here. And then what I've done is, I've put in these in, obviously, to reinforce it a little bit, so when it all goes off, it should be super, super, Tough jobbed there it is there you go that's in there and that'll take a couple of days to go off and then when that's done I've got a bag of pebbles to go in it tomorrow and then the umbrella will go straight back on so that's a good job done today so how so Saturday night and we're doing beers and burgers in the pool or by the pool and it's been a stonking hot day again as usual so I'm mixing up a couple of bags of concrete of uh, my beer tonight surely so yeah this has got to be painted Lisa's department brown the same as that and now that's going to be a lot more 
stronger and a lot heavier than the original one and I'll put a couple of uh, two, two I've got some old tiles that I use, two bits high tiles just to lift it off the ground so it's easier to paint in and also it allows the water to pass through it so yeah, all good so here we are just chilling in the pool so hopefully the next drink you'll see me is a nice large cold Leo so one of my subscribers said about um, what would my life be if I hadn't moved to Thailand in the UK it's quite a difficult question really because one obviously we're not there I get a lot of feedback obviously from my daughters and stuff and I think my life obviously you know I, I, I we're in our 10th year now so I would have been working for eight years or I've been retired for eight years nine years but um, 62 uh, in June so I most probably would have retired at 60 but you know I don't know I mean expensive in Thailand so so I hear, sorry expensive in England for what I hear so um, I might have carried on working past 60 but let's say I would have retired at 60 most probably and I wouldn't have enjoyed the lifestyle that I've enjoyed in the farm and the beauty of Thailand in the last nine years really so that would have been obviously a massive change so the pros are me retiring early I was lucky enough to get away from work early like I said before in my previous videos and we took the chance and came out um, one of the best things we thought we'd done was build the bungalow and I know there's a lot of controversy over you can't own this, you can't own that we've got, a, we've got a, um, an agreement with one of our friends um, which we're more than happy with and if it's not for you then you, you don't do it obviously but um, yeah so that's uh, obviously being retired for sort of nine years in our tenth year that's a massive pro England I don't know obviously because of the situation the worldwide situation that's happened over the last year and England the UK are still pretty much in lockdown and it's cold there at the moment I know I'd rather be here so for me really I suppose I would have worked in, in answer to the question is I would have been working for eight years that's pretty much for sure in the UK and I'd have retired at 60 in the UK with Lisa and I'd most probably on my pension that goes further here obviously um, I'd have most probably got a little job in B&Q's or something like that you know I don't know I'd have mostly got a little part-time job somewhere in the UK because the lifestyle's different there isn't it I mean, you know you can't do this what I'm doing now and, the, and you know I went out with um, for a bike ride yesterday with Mike um, from Amazing Thailand Touring and there's a link below for his uh, Facebook page and also his YouTube page the guy's he's a true adventurer Mike is and he's travelled everywhere he's even gone from Bangkok to Mount Everest there you go so the guy is a true adventurer as uh, he's a lovely guy lovely man really nice guy it's great to catch up with him yesterday and just chewed a cut and he came round and uh, we had a cappuccino after the ride and uh, he had some of Lisa's brownie which he thoroughly enjoyed and then Mike went off down to Krabby and he's going down to Patong if I'd have had the time there's still bits to do in the garden I'd have most probably gone with him but I plan on going up to Pratchu up where maybe next week so and I'll do live streams every day on that and a video at the end of it so hopefully this video you're watching this on Sunday evening so I'm hoping to get this video out on Sunday evening so yeah so as I just said, I'd have definitely been working for the last eight years and I'd have retired at 60 in the UK and uh, most probably would have got a part-time job to, you know, fill up the, 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 the money that you need to live in, 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 in the, the UK, really. But I wouldn't change a thing, to be honest with you. Um, I love living here. So we're in our 10th year, expat couple. And if there's anything you guys want to know about an expat couple wanting to relocate to Thailand, ask the questions. And if I don't know them, I'll tell you I don't know them. I won't make up any bullshit. All I can do is tell you um, how what what we've experienced. And that's all it is. It's just my view and my wife's view of living here. So the views are different for everybody, obviously. Everyone's got their story and everyone's got their own different lifestyles. But yeah, so if there's any questions, guys, put it in the comments below. Yeah? And I'll endeavour to answer them as the best I can. And if I can't answer them, like I said, I'll tell you I don't know. And I'll try and find out for you, but if I don't know, I don't know. I'm not going to make up any stupid answers. Okay. So, guys. Got the beer. 
and we are Lisa's already burger and beer in bacon cheese burger and a beer all good Lewis perfect thank you all good so let's enjoy Saturday evening beer and burger cooked at our marvelous tiki bar that's not really being used at the moment because it's not finished but hey let's enjoy this looking good first sip of Leo audio two sodas cheers Always it's the spot. Speak to you later while I demolish this. Oh guys, do you like the shirt? Lewis brought it down from Chiang Mai, the kangaroo bar that he plays pool at. Pretty good. You can see behind me, let's have a look, shall we? Oh so yeah, so for thanks to those that uh, have subscribed to my channel, I've lost a few subscribers, it always happens out on YouTube to be honest with you, um, you know I'll grain a few, I'll get up to whatever it is and then I lose a few, so but anyway it is what it is and it's no problems, oh, look that's split again, cheap shit, it's a trouble. Yeah, so I've lose a few, gain a few, but it is what it is, guys. So I appreciate you guys um, subscribing to my channel and also taking the time out to watch my channel. And I've said it before, and I've said this before. But I really do appreciate what you do, your comments, and also your kind comments, and also you taking the time out to watch my channel. Here we go. All done with the pebbles in it. Just got to... That's not going anywhere. So I've just got to give that another day, I think. And then this evening, I've cleaned all this down. I'm going to paint this pearl white, as I said. And then tidy out the tiki bar. And then going to move forward on that. So, coming up is, um, in the next few days, is the little motorcycle trip I've done with Mike from Amazing Thailand Touring. So that'll be a motorcycle-orientated one. So, again, I shall say that on it. But this one, again, great chain. I love it. Do a live stream most of in a few days. So, most importantly, guys, stay safe.